Hi, my amazing planner family. It's Jess from My Magical Planner, and I have both a wonderful box to share with you and a very sad box to share with you. So this is my final order from Simply Gilded subscription. Um, she's closing down the subscription in its current format. Everybody is, like their subscriptions are ending. January, there will be no subscriptions. And then in February, you will have the opportunity to sign up for the new subscription, which will be roughly the same price, so about $30. And you will get the new formatted stickers and matching or washi that goes with it. Um, and possibly a third item, most likely a pen or something of that nature. No more mystery item. It'll be pretty consistent across the board. Um, I do love the idea of the new subscription, but at the same time, I will miss some parts of this current subscription. And so it's a little sad, but I'm excited for her for moving on and conquering new adventures. I think with simplifying the subscription and discontinuing the add-on washi element, it's going to allow her to take her creative energies into new realms. And I'm excited to see what that is. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and open up this last box, which I love the fact that the mailer always kind of matches whatever the theme is for the box. So there we go. So this month's subscription is called Stay Golden, which seems perfect. I believe this is her 50th, yes, 50th box that she did, which is a good number to end on. And if I'm not forgetting, like, I think the 50th anniversary is the golden anniversary. So that seems very fitting. I love the floral elements that are on the box and the colors that she chose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of its box over here on the side so that if anybody wants to still be surprised by this box, the mystery item will not be revealed. I will show it at the end, but I will give you plenty of warning for that. So let me go ahead and do that. So again, love, love the box. So the first thing I always look for is the little card that she sends that has what all is in your box. Okay, I don't see the card that comes with the box. Um, so I'm just going to start pulling things over and showing them to you <laughs> and see if I can remember the usual order of things. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I think, is the journaling card, which says grateful and has this beautiful heart and just this beautiful aesthetic to it. I really, really enjoy it. So I'll set that off to the side here. And then I have a beautiful pen that comes with this month. It's kind of a matte pink with this beautiful, beautiful bow here. And you have the bow on the top. These are gel ink pens. They write really nicely. They have a beautiful weight to them. The cap goes on nicely at the back. So always a great addition. Alrighty. So because I can't find the card, I don't know what the mystery item is supposed to be. I have a guess here, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the washi. So we have this beautiful one here, which is very similar to the background of the card here. And then we have a two pack here with this beautiful dusty pink and the gold along with one of the perforated um, washi rolls that has like all of your to buys, goals, um, to pay, like all of the normal things you might have in an a typical weekly spread. Ooh, we have a sparkly washi that is a um, really beautiful purple with some gold in there for the 
ribbon and stuff. And then this one, I believe, matches. Let's see that in 10 and, what, 15 and 10. There we go. And then this is the final standard washi, which is absolutely stunning. I love washies that have this kind of almost cutout element to the floral to it. And then I do have my add-on washi, which are these four. I think this bottom one is a sparkler washi in that pink. I don't know that I've seen one this size of the sparkler washi. So that'll be kind of fun to play with. And then the top one looks like it probably matches pretty close to our floral elements here. Beautiful purple one here and then another floral one in there as well. I will swatch these out. I'm going to wait till the end just because I feel like the card's got to be in here <laughs> and I usually use the back of the card to swatch all my washi on. So I'm going to wait and hold out for that. This is the bag that your washi comes in. Beautiful. I use these for all kinds of things. Sometimes I organize parts of my desk in them. They're really nice quality bags. Uh, they work great for trips and that kind of thing to add. Like sometimes I'll put medications in here, you know, like in their bottles. But there's the bag. Very pretty. Just put that off to the side. Okay. Then we have some sticky notes. I think these are vellum, but I'm not positive. So let's open them and look. Oh, actually they're regular paper. You know, I kind of like that. It's easier, like I can grab any pen and write on a regular sticky note. The vellum ones, I have to make sure I grab the right pen. <laughs> so it's nice to have some, but I don't have to worry about that on. And the design is very pretty. Then we have our beautiful new stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those to the side and you will see how well coordinated like the washies that you get are to this sticker kit. The sticker kit is, I believe, meant to be for more than a single week. At least that's the way I always look at it. Um, I do do plan with these using these kits. So if you're ever stuck on how to use them, you can always, look back at some of my plan with me's. I'll make sure to link some of them up above for you guys. So we have our beautiful seals here. These work great for sealing envelopes, putting on gift boxes, that kind of thing. Or you can use them in your planner. It just depends on your aesthetic. One of the favorite things I've seen these be used for is actually page tabs. Um, my good friend Karen over at Happily Planning with Karen used some just to put in page tabs for, I think it was her Hobonashi, but I could be wrong. And it looked beautiful because you always have two sets that match and everything. And you just put one sticker on each side of, of the page and kind of sandwich them together. So maybe there's those. There we go. And then we have the rest of our kit here. So we have a floral page with all of our numbers. And then you also have some icons down here at the bottom. So you have a heart, a dollar sign, the hospital cross, a beautiful bow, an airplane, another bow, credit cards, mail, a camera, a car, TV, a book, um, a dumbbell for like working out, a uh, fork and spoon, laundry, some kind of cleaning chemical, and the trash. So really any kind of chore that you might have during the week is really covered by all of these. And then here is the kit itself. So it's, I believe, four pages now. Hold on. Oh, there we go. So I always like to start with the full box page. So you can use all of these together and they work great. Or you can choose to pick a specific color and play off of that. Like if I were to lay these down, I might maybe pick certain ones that I felt went better together um, and maybe not use all of them in one spread. Everyone does it differently though. Um, I tend to get overwhelmed with too many colors. So that's what I do. And I think it's broke up perfectly for something like that. Um, this box could go for a few different things. Um, and then we have headers down here. They're just beautiful with little bows. And then 
we have a page. Oops. For some reason, I can't get stuff up today. But we have a beautiful page with all of our day headers, and you do get four sets of those. So, like I said, it's really meant to be almost like a whole month's worth of stickers for your planner. If you combine it with the washi, like it's amazing. It might be a challenge I'll do for myself this year. If you guys would like to see that, let me know and I'll actually put it together. So anyhow, so we have all of these, then you have some to do's down here. You have some specific headers here for like meeting, appointment, important, important goals, shopping list, meal plan to clean and to do. And then you have some half boxes down here at the bottom. I always love this box that says gratitude. I think it's a great reminder. Then we have what I call the page flag page. <laughs> so this has a million different page flags, evidently, <laughs> page flags on it. And one of the things that I love about this, so you have heart checklist, you have bow checklist, you have this line, which is a more simplified design. So you can have them this way on your page, but you can also put them this way. You can cut them down. You can do, you can layer them with the ones below and an offset. It looks really cute. There's just a lot of things you can do with these. And then down here we have littler flags that have icons on them, which I've been using these ones recently, and I actually really love the size of them. So we have those. Then we have some deco down here. We have some decorative headers over here and you have three rows of four different bows and they're all in slightly different colors so I often use these also for checklist so I think it's very fitting that they're on this page and then over here you have another set of icons these icons pretty much match what was on that page um, from your number page so Again, going between that and this, you definitely have enough icons for three weeks. No problem. And then your last page, you have a couple more checklists up here. These ones are three bow checklists instead of, are these ones four or five? Those ones are five. <laughs> um, so we have those. We have another couple of really specific headers. Um, there is a day of the week's header. So if you want it to make some kind of habit tracker, you can do that. We have some third boxes up here. We have another section of headers and then more half boxes. So I think it's a really beautiful design this month. I'm loving the pink and kind of dusty pink. I don't know. This color here really speaks to me and I love purple. So the combination of all of them just feels bright and hopeful and a uh, very, um, it just feels very February to me, like holidays and happiness and hearts and all that stuff. So there's your sticker kit. Then I have a beautiful little notebook. I love these little notebooks. I take them everywhere with me. I do have a pile of them, so I won't need to buy any right away, but eventually. <laughs> I like to keep these with me. I put them in my purse, and then when I have ideas, I oftentimes will jot them down in here, or when I just wanna take notes on something, I often pull these out. I have started to transfer those a little bit more to my homenashi, um, just because that is my planner. Uh, sorry, that is my content planner. Sorry, I put this open and I was like, what? So you have a different format than I've ever seen her put in here. So you have this spot up here where you could label it the day or whatever you're researching. This is a perfect size, I believe, for your washi. So I think that would fit in there really well. And then you have this grid area. So it could totally be a calendar. It could be something where you're graphing, you know, how well a video does. It could be, you know, a diary and you're writing what you're grateful for that day. It could be so many different things and used for a lot of different purposes. So totally love that. Love the pink color on the front. And then I have these. So we have a beautiful little bow with that alligator clip to go on to this. So I think this was a, a cover for a type of planner that I don't have, but I do think it's gorgeous. 
I do think she tends to do these <laughs> on the most beautiful patterns <laughs> that I can't use. I'm trying to come up with ideas for it. Um, you can obviously put like these type of notebooks in. That I believe you would just go like this, put it in there, and then you have room to put other ones on here as well. And you have an area on this side and then you would close it. And there you go. You also have that beautiful pin loop. It's done. It's made with this beautiful vegan leather and it's very, very pretty. So that is most everything. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show the mystery item, at least what I think is a mystery item without having that card in here. So if you didn't wanna see that, hopefully I haven't already showed it, <laughs> feel free to pause or turn to another channel, whatever you need to do to keep your surprise. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and we'll take a look. So here's our mystery item. It's super cute. Um, just some confetti that you can put in an envelope when you're sending something to somebody or in a gift to give that extra special touch. There was also a card in there that probably went with that notebook um, from Annie Plans for a 25% off any purchase of $5 or more, which is very, very sweet. I'm sure that she helped design this uh, notebook and I think that's really awesome. So I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and find something to swatch these washies on now. All right, here are our beautiful washi. I really love this purple. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one is also amazing. It makes me think of, I've seen it done by a couple of shops now where they have um like the sticker washies only it's cut out like it's kiss cut around the floral at the bottom and it looks amazing and it, i think this will give the same effect so i think that's really cool i love this um this is the washi that came with the perforated one here it does not appear to be perforated which is a a big difference but i also kind of like it because i think this can be used in so many different ways and then we have the four down here this one as well as the purple one up here are both that more textured sparkly washi um it's always hard to show it on camera but as it catches the light just right it just kind of glitters kind of like freshly fallen snow so those are really pretty um this one does make me think of the hummingbird box that was this last year. So I don't know that this one fits as well as some of the other ones. Um, I'm sure it's just a different back tone on some of these, but if I had to pick one washi I would take out, it would be that one because it feels like it doesn't go as well with the other ones. It's still a beautiful washi in its own right and very useful. It just feels a little out of place, a little bit more blue, and these are more purple and pink. But either way, I think this is an amazing collection of washi and I'm super glad I got it. Now, as far as going forward, so obviously I will not have a subscription in January since there isn't one available. My plan is to get the new subscription in February and kind of evaluate if I'm using it enough and getting enough out of the product to continue that. Um, Sadie Stickers has also announced that she's going to be doing a, I think it's going to be a monthly subscription. So I'm waiting to hear about that one as well. And I, I can't get all of the subscriptions I would like, so I may have to pick and choose a little bit. But the plan is at least for the first month to get it and see how it goes. I have no doubt it will be beautiful and well worth what you're getting. So anyhow, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Mm -hmm.